So are you actually getting the future death effects as well, not just all the current ones in the game? We just got the final Umbrella Academy bundle here in Vanguard and Warzone, this being the Tracer Pack, the Umbrella Academy Hazel bundle. Ready to get infamous, start some instant Armageddon with the Tracer Pack Hazel bundle. This bundle includes psychotic pink and blue tracers, random mayhem dismemberment, and then if you buy this bundle and the other Umbrella Academy bundle, the Cha Cha bundle, you're gonna get an exclusive legendary KG-40 blueprint, a legendary weapon charm, a legendary calling card if you buy them before September 30th and they'll be coming out uh, later in season five. Still haven't even got the Terminator rewards yet. Starting off, we get a Lewis skin, which is a DLC operator. So if you haven't bought this DLC operator, you're gonna get a new operator to level up. However, this isn't its own operator. So this is legitimately a Lewis skin. You're not gonna be able to unlock a gold and a diamond version of Hazel. You're just gonna be able to dress up as Hazel while playing as Lewis. Whenever we get these crossover bundles, I way prefer when they're their own operator so you can actually unlock imagine if we could get a golden version of it. that would be pretty sick uh besides the operator we get the electric lollipop submachine gun i can't wait to see what psychotic pink and blue trace rounds look like i think these are akimbo too so this is the macro 5 which is kind of cool we got the sugar loader which is another dlc weapon which looks kind of cool but these are probably not going to be that great with camos we get the shocking revelation finishing move all right, that one's pretty sick. It's pretty similar to the other bundle, but uh, once again, you got both characters. You shock him. He comes out of the, uh, I think, the teleporter or the time travel machine. Start shooting him up. Then we got the stay down MVP highlight. All right, that one's kind of cool. A little basic at the same time. We got the big shocker calling card. Oh, it's a comic. Merry Christmas, Easter Bunny. And I guess he's shocking the eye, bro. I, I don't know. I don't watch this, but that, that's interesting. We got the out of time emblem, the messy joy spray, which I guess we'll try that out. That's a pretty cool looking spray. We got the dispatch signal sticker, which is kind of cool. And then we got the sweet atomic power briefcase, which is, you know, a charm. With that, let's go ahead and buy this bundle so we can start reviewing it. Once again, this operator is so big that if you're viewing it in the menu, it kind of clips over top the menu where you can't even view the entire head. And yeah, I I already knew this was gonna happen but yet i'm still disappointed this weapon comes with a kimbo on it and that's one of the attachment this blueprint has uh but yeah obviously loading to zombies the uh the akimbo part of it just doesn't work let's test out the tracer fire so it's not the exact same as the other umbrella academy bundle but it's pretty similar it's also got a unique sound when you shoot I do like weapons that come with unique sounds when you shoot, but it's pretty much the exact same in the other bundle. Now let's test out the dismemberment. So this should just be random each time you... Hello? Um... This is not the mayhem... Usually it's a random one. Okay, I actually don't know what's going on. There doesn't seem to be any sort of dismemberment effect on this whatsoever like at all nothing is changing when i kill enemies train them up train them up train them up 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 all right here we go we got the other blueprint from the bundle let's see if this one ha actually works with the dis oh wh yeah this one oh let's not die this one actually works so that guy got electrocuted that guy turned to bones that guy turned to bones that that guy turned to snow bones so yeah unfortunately it seems like the macro five is just broken and the dismemberment effects don't work on it so hopefully that gets fixed in a timely manner but sometimes when you get bundle issues they take a while to get fixed in vanguard so hopefully they eventually fix it and the macro doesn't stay or the micro doesn't stay broken forever oh wait right there look at that that's the tracer fire from the mastercraft that came out two days ago that wasn't out when the mayhem tracers originally came out so are you actually getting the future death effects as well not just all the current ones in the game dude that makes that so much cooler dude i love this i love the idea of just tracer fight dude ew it wait actually i don't even know if that one's out yet isn't that for a mastercraft that's not out yet i think what tracer fire was that from i think every time they add a new tracer fire in the game Th this gun just magically gets it because i don't even i think that's for a mastercraft that's unreleased if i'm not mistaken which that's insane bro which kind of sucks vanguard's almost over there's only a few more you know we're, we're on the last season so this life cycle is almost over so it's not like you're gonna get a bunch of future death effects but i mean even still every time they add a new death effect if this weapon just magically gets it and i've been looking through them this ha almost has all of them the only ones i think it's missing are like the godzilla and the terminator death effects those don't seem to be on here so maybe the limited time death effects 
don't show up on this but all the normal mastercraft death effects i mean we'd have to make a list of all of them but it, it seems like this actually has a majority of the death effects in the game and maybe even the future ones that are going to be added later on ah that's so much better this is what they look like when they're akimbo let's see if they have the death effects on mp let's see if it's just a zombies issue and oh Okay, I don't even remember what bundle that was from. Was that from one of the Terminator bundles or what? But oh, there's fireworks effects. So yeah, it actually does seem like the Mayhem Tracers work on these, just not in zombies, which is definitely very interesting. Uh, these are actually different. I didn't see any, bro. These are the these are different effects than the ones that I saw when on zombies. Like what the? I I don't even know what some of these are. Uh, none of these were the effects we saw when it, I, I guess wait what does this have the same effects we saw in zombies i guess it depends on what mode uh i got a lot of kills in zombies and those were not i never saw any of those effects maybe they just have different effects okay so yeah that was the electric effect that's the ones i were seeing in zombies i guess each mayhem weapon comes with a different random amount of death effects that is so weird and i guess yeah, because that's the snow one. So yeah, the, b both weapons have a different pool of death effects, which sucks because the fireworks and stuff, these ones, yeah, th th these are completely different. Completely different. So each, just because both weapons have, yeah, Mayhem Tracers doesn't mean they have the same ones. I guess they're both just a located, a different allotment of them, which sucks because the macro doesn't work in zombies. I have a feeling it might be because it's an akimbo weapon and you can't even use the akimbo part of the blueprint. Maybe it has something to do with that. But uh, that's interesting that's that dude i love the idea of mayhem tracers and I, I i guess it's just it's a weird way of them doing it uh but here's what the carbine looks like in a brighter environment once again it's kind of cool but not gonna look great with camos now let's try out the finishing move it's only me today so i've got to find a bot to try this out on but we will try out this finishing move no 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 dude ah what the l l l l l oh here we go dude i hate trying to get freaking finishing moves on bots dude it's impossible all right here we go that was a bad angle i uh, that looked terrible okay here's a better angle i mean it's cool but you don't even get to see the portal in this version of the finishing move i definitely think the one from the other umbrella academy the finishing move was way cooler in that one but they're really not that much different it's just they both come out of portals and do stuff but you get a better angle of the portal in the other one now one thing that is a little bit annoying is i hate when you get a weapon that looks kind of basic but has insane dismemberment effects because now i've got to make the choice do i want to run the cooper carbine mastercraft or the one with probably the coolest dismemberment effects we've ever seen a feature i would love to see in future call of duty games once you buy these blueprints i should be able to take the tracer fire from this weapon and put it on any cooper carbine blueprint i have if i want to take the tracer effect and even the dismemberment effect from this i should be able to put it on here like you can you know with attachments how you can put different attachments from different blueprints you should also be able to put the tracer fire from bundle you bought on any other version of that weapon i should be able to run this with the mayhem dismemberment that'd be sick but uh yeah let's do a quick little rundown of how camos look on these weapons i have a feeling it's gonna pretty much cover the whole thing you can see a little bit of lines up there but yeah nothing uh to nothing too crazy which means the gold camos are gonna do the same let's see how the basic patterns look so yeah you do get to see a little bit of glowing blue it's not you know it, it's okay but yeah these blueprints are kind of l's when it comes to camo okay for the cooper carbine let's actually go ahead and equip the blueprint i have a feeling this is gonna work the exact same way yeah so unfortunately it looks like mastery camos cover and then if you put on basic camos you get to see the little parts of the colors but uh yeah these blueprints are not meant for camos now what about if we start taking attachments off of these so if we start taking off attachments this is what the macro is going to look like pretty simple cooper carbine if we start taking off attachments it's gonna look like um that so you get a little bit of it but i mean you're chopping off some of the head and some other stuff too and here's the skin in the warzone menu looks exactly like you'd expect it to uh don't see me don't see me don't see me all right let's test out the death effects in warzone and that was the fireworks one once again that was exclusively uh to the mac 5 over in vanguard uh let's check out this let's see is this and that's bone so it does look like the mayhem tracers follow the same pattern they did because both of those were the ones that were on the same ones as you know a little bit of testing how good are these akimbo and war zones probably not that great dude we're gonna get wrecked okay akimbo probably not the move that was fireworks 
That was Bones. So yeah, they have the same tracers they did in Cold War. They've just got the Warzone version of them. And finishing move in Warzone. Actually, it is, I feel like you get a better angle, maybe because it was out in the open, but overall, this bundle just, I don't know. I bought it because I want the rewards for buying both bundles, and obviously, I want to review it, but I feel like you really don't need to buy both of these bundles. If you buy one of the Umbrella-themed, the Umbrella Academy bundles, you kind of get the experience of both of them. The coolest thing about them is the Tracer Fire, and I mean, they both have that. The finishing moves are all right. I think the Cha-Cha bundle, the first one that came out that we already have a review for, I think that was the better of the two bundles. And if you bought that one, I really don't think there's much of a value of this one. I'm probably going to give this one around the same ranking we gave the last one. If I had to give this a ranking, I'd give it a 3 out of 10. Once again, my ranking doesn't mean a lot. I just kind of do that to wrap up the video. Let me know what you think about this bundle. I'm kind of excited to see how it looks in the plane. So let's see when we load in, get into a third person view of the plane. But overall, I think these are probably some of the most boring crossover bundles we've had in Vanguard. And yeah, I mean... <sighs> just you, you can't unlock gold for the operators so there's no real they're just operator skin so you're not really getting new operators with unlocks the weapons are dude, how are you gonna fit out the plane bro your head is bigger than the plane like the weapons are cool but they just don't work with camos there's no mastercraft in either one of these bundles i was hoping one of these bundles would come with a mastercraft but neither one did it feels like these are just kind of i mean they're cool but I mean, the, the mayhem dismemberment's the only thing that's actually really cool about them. But uh, yeah, with that, I'm going to wrap this one up. Let me know how you feel about this bundle. If you want to see any more videos like this where we fully break down everything in a bundle before you buy it, that way you know what you're getting, you know what you're spending your money on, make sure to sub. We're going to do this for Modern Warfare 2, Vanguard, and then what's left of Cold War bundles. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I want to give a quick thanks to those who became a Twitch sub or a YouTube member, and an extra special thanks to those who took it above and beyond and became an Unlock Plus Plus member here on YouTube. We got the Legend Army Tech Rex, the Absolute Chat. Noah, the homie flicks, the goat RPH, and then finally the man himself, no spice.